these are the kind of moments that like push me to the edge you know the these are the moments that make me feel the absolute worst about myself these are the moments that hurt me you know it makes me think why am i playing this game you know i'm sure you've had a moment like that where you're questioning why you why you're doing what you're doing why are you playing a game that doesn't give back to you a game that hurts you breaks your heart and that's it you know honestly it still confuses me to this day i mean i paid 140 dollars for this game and and all i've had is heartbreak that's not true i've had a lot more than heartbreak i've had triumphant victories you know i've had things that like i don't know i figured out you know the reason why people still play this game it's not the the fun customization of weapons you know it's not any of that shit people still play this game because it gives you just enough to hope you know to hope that uh your next friend you're gonna be prepared oh i didn't bring enough bullets next time i'll just bring bullets oh i didn't bring the proper medical stuff you know i'll bring that next time and i'll be fine and you go back out there and you get crushed until you have what i like to call a unexpected run the run where everything looks bad but then turns out all right. I had one of those recently, and I would like to show you. I'm ready for this. I was born for this. Oh yeah. Okay, but where am I? You may ask me, why a gun with three flashlights? And I might as well ask you, why not? Okay, mm -hmm. you see this? It makes me blind. Look at that. I literally can't see. And that gives everybody else a, at least a chance to kill me all right because i'm the best damn gamer in the world and let me tell you something they need this they need this okay because the people that the same people that try to face me are the people that the, their last chance at redemption okay because they've been kicked down by everybody everybody that's below me and they figure if i could just kill the top dog one time just once, I, I'll be able to make it through the night. And the, they think that they just kill me one time, they'll automatically get my fame, my success. But they won't, they could try. But uh, this is to help those guys out. Hey. Dude, check out how many flashlights I got on this gun. Check this out. How bright does this shit look? Hello? Hey, I'm gonna come over there. I'm not gonna shoot you. I just want to show you my fucking flashlights, dude. Check this shit out. Is that shit bright or what? Yo, your mic might be muted or something. Hello? This is a reminder uh, for you to fucking hit that goddamn subscribe button, hit that goddamn like button, and fucking tell me if you if you like those that, that little fucking swoopily uh, transition thing. Tell me if you like that little. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, d tell me if you like that in the comments. I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do that again because that too much time, too little results. But uh, uh, fucking keep watching this. Uh, uh. Okay, that fucker ran. Dude, are you in this building? Are you scared of me? I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't know why that guy was scared of me. I try to be nice to people, and they run away from me. Uh, I don't get it. I guess people have been thwarted too many times in this game. This game is pretty gruesome. The community is pretty unforgiving. The whole game is pretty unforgiving, if we're being honest. But uh, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to be a nice guy to people. Not just as a scab, but also as a PMC. And, uh, it's kind of ticking me off a little bit that uh, people don't see that as an option in this game. It really is an option. Kind of makes me a little sad. See, a lot of people like to camp this spot. And it does work. It's a very decent spot to camp, but I ain't doing that. Just slowly climb down the mountain. That's a little trick I learned. Uh, the game doesn't work really that well as it should. So like in this game, as you're going down a mountain, you can pretty much just stand still. It'll take you where you need to go. Pretty fun. You know, it's effective. Oh, somebody called in an airdrop this early into raid. 
Well, I mean, that makes sense. There's no reason they would do it late. I don't really like the idea of airdrops. But, uh, that's just me. Fucking everybody killing each other. You know, the thing about an airdrop is, uh... The airdrops will have more shit than one person can carry, right? And, you know, you could argue about, uh, oh, the better stuff. But if you're doing scab runs, you're already poor as shit. You don't get to be picky. Okay, and first off, if you're gonna betray another scav over a crate that's way too full for one fucking backpack, even if you had a pilgrim, are you kidding me? That, no, that's an issue. Okay, it ticks me off. This was a weapon I crafted. Uh, part of it being for uh, my love for the SKS, uh, but the fact that I didn't like how limited it was. Like, a, you know, a cool gun is a gun that looks professional. And honestly, if you pull up to a, uh, with a little, a yellow wood weapon, you kind of look like a little bitch, right? So I decided to get this one, you know, make it feel a little special. Oh, I passed up the stash. Did I? Eh. Fuck. I did pass up the goddamn stash. Shit. Oh my god. God damn it. I'm so stupid. Fuck. Milk. Ooh! The Loot Lord plushie! Ooh! Nice. I got the Loot Lord plushie. I put it in my gamma. The Loot Lord plushie for my little underdog. My little, uh, my little sidekick, Aqua FPS. Can he do? That guy plays this game circles around me. He's the fucking god. He has his own item. I really think that dude was terrified of me. But I don't really see why. Because, uh, I'm like, I was so friendly to him. I didn't shoot. I could have shot at every opportunity, and I didn't. Because I'm such a nice guy. I just wanted to show my fucking flashlights. Shit. Thank you. Let's take your stuff. Ooh, two weapons. Uh. <laughs> nice. And the scab vest, of course. I I'll take this weapon. Find a nice bush to put it in. This one right here. Was that a player scav I killed? Because uh part of me thinks that was a player scav. I've never been a scav with two weapons before. And also, uh whoever this guy was, if he was a freaking player scav. Ten bullets? Come on, Chief. I know it's bad to commit insurance fraud, but I mean it's doable, and honestly, if it's a tool to be utilized for my gain, then, uh, I'm just gonna fucking utilize it, you know? And I've already profited with the whole Loot Lord plushie. So that makes me feel good. Do you see? There's things to kill here. And I still have a flashlight. I feel good. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. Let's see if this extract is available. No. So we're fucked. Essentially. But it's okay, I got the Loot Lord plush. I'm surprised I missed. I guess I just don't know how to... I mean, I'm not surprised I missed. I did that on purpose. I'm gonna die here unless I find like a fucking stash over here or something. Ah, oh, there it is. Gonna be any bandages in this weapon crate? Fuck! Damn, the shotgun's fucking 
badass. Do do do. What is this? MP153. Damn, this shotgun fucking bangs. Holy shit. Oh, oh, that's a scav up there. If I can kill it and he has has a bandage or something. Watch this. No, my luck. He has a fucking bandage. Oh my god. So now I have to try. So I'm pretty much gonna survive it at this rate. But like, I don't even know if I want to at this point. Fucking ridiculous. So I survived. You know, I uh, I met up, and this run was uh, eventful, to say the least. Not that eventful, you know, not not that many, uh, fucking, not a lot of action, but, uh, a lot of actions happened, you know, I, I met a guy, uh, that I was gonna show my flashlights, I showed the guy mercy, I got almost butt-raped by a scav, and I survived, and, um, but I almost died, I almost bled out to death, uh, but then I found a bandage on a, another scav, you know? And and that's really what this game's about. This is what keeps you going, you know? Uh, constant loss, and then one little sweet victory every once in a while. And that's what keeps you going on this game. Uh, it's a beautiful game, and I hope you enjoyed. And always, have a nice day. And I got the Loot Lord plushie. Don't forget about that. I'm a god now. Come on. Come on.